Hey, what's going on, all you fantastic and amazing people and fellow Fallout fans? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to talk about Fallout 76's newly announced DLC Wastelanders, and more specifically, I want to go over everything we know about Wastelanders so far. So for those of you who do not know, Wastelanders is a new DLC that's being put out for Fallout 76 by Bethesda Game Studios in fall of 2019. This DLC was recently announced at the E3 showcase, and it shows that uh, the Wastelanders DLC is going to bring some pretty awesome things, including NPCs, new quests, new gears, weapons, armor, and enemies, which is really awesome. Now, uh, there was a really, really good article published earlier by a PC gamer, and I'm going to go ahead and read that with you guys because that covers everything we know so far. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into this article. This article is titled, Fallout 76 Wastelanders Everything We Know. It's by Christopher Livingston. In the Fallout 76 Wastelander updates, here's how NPCs, companions, and dialogue will work. Now, if you want to read this for yourself, link's down in the description below. But it starts off by saying, Fallout 76 Wastelanders is bringing human NPCs to Appalachia. Starting this fall, the Fallout 76 Wastelanders update will deliver a new story quest, branching dialogue choices and consequences in unique companions, as players will meet and interact with two new human factions, settlers and raiders. I hope you've been working hard on your camps because you're about to have company. Fallout 76 Wastelanders was revealed at E3 2019, and here's everything we've learned so far. What is the Fallout 76 Wastelanders release date? We don't know yet exactly but when Wastelanders will arrive, but it's due in the fall of 2019. It will be a free update for Fallout 76, and if it's anything like the Wild Appalachia update, Fallout 76 Wastelanders won't appear all at once, but will be spread out over a few months with major updates every few weeks and smaller patches in a prize between them. You can see the Fallout 76 Wastelanders E3 trailer above. Now, I want to add something here. I don't think this will come out uh, spread out over a few months. I think this will come all at once. I really don't see how they would be able to add it over the course of a couple of months. I mean, if it was one quest here or there, that's going to be kind of annoying, you know, if it's stretched out over a couple of months so i believe this will be one major dlc released all at one time for fallout 76 going on it says it will bring human npcs to fallout 76 the original idea for fallout 76 was for the players to be the only living humans in appalachia the only npc contact would be through holotapes terminals entry notes and robots but players missed having conversations in a dialogue system and it turns out so did the developers we realize in hindsight that what we do best is npcs and talking jeff garnier project lead for fallout 76 told us at e3 so they began working on bringing npcs and dialogue back to the game shortly after launch in november of 2018 i have to say i'm really excited that they're doing this bringing npcs back I think it's going to be fun, and I think it's going to be amazing. So, going on, the article talks about how will the human NPCs work. It'll be a system not unlike Fallout 4, though. You're mostly going to be seeing these NPCs in instanced areas. That means certain areas. Obviously, if I kill an NPC in the game, other people need to be able to interact with that NPC, said Garnier. So they will be in closed areas, frankly, and other areas where we can control the environment better than an exterior. In other words, these NPCs won't just be strolling around freely on the map, but you'll have to go visit them in specific regions that are separated from the rest of the world. You'll be able to align yourself with either the settlers or raiders, though that doesn't necessarily boil down to a simple choice between good and bad. There, are definitely, there will definitely be shades of grey, said Garnier. Dialogue is meant to be an experience uh, between a single player and an NPC as opposed to an entire team talking to that NPC together. It goes on to say, the group system is, if you are on a team, the team leader will ultimately, uh, the team leader will be ultimately the one driving the conversation, said Garnier. Uh, said, however, if you're outside and you want to talk to NPCs to advance your quest, you're going to have to do a one-on-one -on -one because we want to make sure everyone is experiencing the story, making the decisions and not just sort of following along with the team leader. And I have to say, this is really good. Um, it would kind of suck because in I, I know in other MMOs, um, you know, the team leader kind of makes all the choices and that's what happens. 
And it's really nice to see that everyone's going to get to experience their own unique and interesting story. Everyone's going to be able to interact with the NPCs. So pretty much it's tailored towards single player gameplay, which I talked about uh, yesterday. And uh, this is really awesome to me. So moving on. So moving on, it talks about how there will be companions you can romance. It says the settlers and raiders will each have unique companions available and you'll be able to romance them and win their favor through dialogue and by completing their personal quest as is fallout tradition. Your companions will have options on your actions and may approve or disapprove of the things you do. The companions however won't be able to follow you everywhere in the world of fallout 76. The following part right now. They're basically going to be in your camp, Garnier said, or in towns. We have te technical limitations there, frankly. And I understand why it makes sense. You don't want your NPC getting stuck somewhere, you know, out in the Fallout 76 world, giving away your position. Um, because the Fallout 76 world is quite huge. And, you know, it's not like you could just load up a save game and you have them again. If they're gone, they're gone. And I see why they're doing this. Maybe it has to do with maybe someone else will choose that NPC as a companion too. And they don't want to, you know, the same companions running into each other just on the road or something like that. Maybe them being, you know, at separate places on the map. If there's two of them, that's okay because you really wouldn't know. Um, so, uh, yeah, that, that's just my opinion. And I'm really glad they're actually doing it this way. So moving on to the last part of this article, it talks about how there will be new weapons, armor, enemies, and activities. So it says, fancy panning for gold. A shot in the E3 trailer shows us someone doing just that in a river, potentially a river that's not irradiated because they seem pretty casual about it. We also get a glimpse at a horrifying new monster stalking around in the wilderness on long, fleshy legs. Though we don't know exactly what the creature is yet, we're also told there will be new weapons, and gear to acquire but we don't have details yet on what it will be we will update this article when we learn more about fallout 76 wastelanders and i will definitely update you guys when we learn more about fallout 76 wastelanders but i think that's going to be quite a while from now um e3 2019 just happened it seemed like most of the interviews are over at this point and i don't think um in any way, shape, or form, they're going to be releasing new information anytime soon. Um, maybe once uh, Nuclear Winter is all said and done with, and once that has been taken care of, we will see it. Uh, but to be honest, we're just going to have to wait and see. Anyways, guys, I love each and every single one of you. I hope to see you guys right back here in the next video. But until then, remember to stay freaky, and bye-bye, everybody. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.